Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hidden Dragon Pie brings to you a Heretic Dragons deck profile. Don't forget to like and subscribe buttons down below. Leave me a comment what you think of this deck, and we'll get right into it. Uh, this is more of a for fun deck, not really too meta competitive. So this is my version of Heretics. Uh, one E set, you can normal summon this without tribute. Uh, Three Nebthets can special summon as long as there is a Heratic on the field. Its secondary is effect. Tribute one Heratic from field or grave, uh, field or hand to destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. And then you get your effects from there. When they're tributed, they can summon a normal monster. Uh, Heratic Sue, level 6. Again, can be special summoned by tributing a Heratic on the field. Uh, tribute one from hand or is your side of the field to destroy any uh, spell or trap card on the field. So that's good for that. And then it gets its effect when it's tributed. Uh, Heratic Dragon of Tefnuit. This is like Cyber Dragon. You can special summon it as long as you have no monsters on the field. Uh, if you do, though, you cannot conduct your battle phase with this card on the field. So, and then when you tribute it, it gets its effect. I run, for normals, I run the one level eight... Uh, Sun Dragon Overlord for my uh, rank 8 and uh, uh, Synchro Summoning. For also Synchro Summoning, I run two level 6 Labradorites. Uh, they work great in this deck. Uh, one Wattail Dragon, two Galaxy Serpents. Again, all of these run really well. They make all my uh, level 7s, 8s, 10s, and 11 plays live. And especially with the other choices in the deck, you'll see why. Uh, two kid motos as they're teched in again when they're sent from the sent to the graveyard. Special summon one dragon from hand works really great. Sets up a lot of plays. Uh, two dragards when this card is normal summon, target one uh, normal monster with a thousand less or attack in the graveyard. Special summon it. You can tribute one other uh, card on the field, make this an eight, and it gains eight hundred attack. So really good, can go into, like I said, you can go into 6, 10, or overlay for an 8 with this guy. Uh, your one Red Eyes Darkness Metal, self-explanatory. And since it's mostly a light-based deck, one copy of Honest. That way, in case they go to attack one of your weaker monsters, you can drop Honest and go right on. Uh, three Seals of Convocation, so you can get the right Heretic Dragon to your hand. Uh, one Dragon Shrine to clear out the normal monsters in the deck to set up the drag rad plays. One Silent Doom, so that way you can bring back one of your normals as well. Uh, Foolish Burial, that way I can send either a normal or Kid Moto to the grave and go from special summoning there. Uh, for draw power, since we do run the uh, tuners, I got two cards of consonants. Uh, a tech in choice is Advanced Zone. Uh, if you tribute one monster, you can destroy at the end phase, you can destroy one set card your component controls. If you do tribute two monsters, you can uh, have, have two tributes this turn, draw one card and destroy a set card. And if you tribute three or more this turn, you get to destroy a set, draw a card, and add one back from your graveyard. So it really helps recycle the deck. Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, clear out any problem cards. And for traps, 2D Prison. One bottomless, two mirror force. My traditional five traps I usually run in pretty much every deck. Now for the extra deck, uh, one ancient sacred driver gains attack based on the difference between your life points and your opponents. Loses attack based on the difference in life points. Uh, Scrap dragon, pop cards, get rid of them. Crimson blader, stop special summoning. Stardust dragon to uh, negate traps. Dark Hole, things like that. I run two Trident Dragons for the uh, Gustav Max as well as, again, Tribute uh, Summoning and uh, Instant Win Condition. Allows you to attack 3,000 for three, uh, three attacks at 3,000 when it's summoned if you get rid of two cards, so that works really well. The one Star Eater uh, it is possible to go into with this deck, and it's very fun to use. Uh, one M7 to return uh, Red Eyes back to the hand so you can continue special summoning. Three 
atoms, and yes, three atoms are needed in this build. So that way you can continuously bring dragons out and continuously going into those better plays. Uh, two Gaia Chargers. Again, self-explanatory what Gaia Charger does. One Heretic Sun Dragon of Heliopolis. Again, to get rid of problematic cards and go for game. And like I said, the one Gustav Max. It's nice to have that additional burn damage as well as having a nice 3,000 beater on the field that's hard to get rid of. Alright, so this is my version of Heratic Dragons. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons down below. Leave me a comment what you think of my Heratic Dragons deck profile. And this is Hidden Dragon, signing out.